All right, we're back with this. The most hated subject in America, math. All right, we are back with Silent Hill 3 with the Dummy Danny. So we're gonna figure this out. All right, putting on the glasses because that's when the brain activates. All right, so we're gonna figure this crap out. All right. Um, I might put some music in the background instead of just he so you guys don't just hear the, 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 the thuds of the nurses. Knocking on the door, trying to get some of the D, but can't get it right now. I'm working. All right. So I got my paper. I got the pen. I got the puzzle. I'm probably going to be real pissed at the end of this. You know why? Because Silent Hill 2 didn't have math puzzles. Maybe it did, but I don't remember freaking struggling my entire life away. It's a video game. Anyways. All right, so here we go. The first is larger than the second. Okay, the first is larger than the second. So it has to be, okay. The second twice the third. So right now, the first is a large, the first is largest. The second is second lowest, and the third is the smallest. The fourth is half the first, which could be like a number in the middle, like four. Uh, but right now, yeah, the f first, first number to the third number, it's in order from highest to least. The fourth number, eh. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. That final sentence makes no goddamn sense. Okay, so we don't really need the second part. We need this. Okay. Okay. So. This might just be a bunch of, like, trial and error. The first is larger... The fourth is half the first. So that means those two numbers have to be even. Right? Yeah, no. Well, fourth is half the first. The first number is a big number. Right? Like, no, it has to be. Because you can't have. You can only have the even numbers. You can't have one, three, five, seven, or nine. Welcome to first grade math. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, yeah. So, the first number, we're gonna write down for one, two, three, four, and then boom, boom, boom. Uh, so that has, the first number is big. So I'm thinking it's eight. Oh no, six, six makes an odd number. It makes three. The third is smaller than the fourth. So if the first number is eight, which I'm kind of leaning towards, the fourth would be four. Because right now the first number can be any even number. It has The first number has to be even. It can be eight, six, four, or two, okay? The fourth is half of any of those. So it can be four, three, two, or one. It can actually be one. Uh, okay. We're getting somewhere. Uh, the third is smaller than the fourth. So the third has to be three to one. Because the fourth is four, three, two, or one. The third has to be lower than four. Because that's the only number higher. That's the highest number the fourth number can be. So, three, two, or one. And the second, the second twice the third. Second twice the third. 
So that can be six, four, or two. Okay, we have the numbers that it could be, but I'm not gonna fucking sit here and try all the goddamn numbers like a freaking moron. All right, so there's four, four numbers there and I repeated. Okay. Okay, wait, four of the numbers are not repeated. The only number that has eight is the is number one. Okay, I'm going with eight. I really think number one is eight, which would make number uh, the fourth number four, because um, the half thing. Wait, three are not in the top row. That's the keypad stuff. Two not that 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 doesn't really matter. That first one does though. So the fourth is half the first. So it's eight, and then the last is four. Okay. And, oh, okay, wait, and the second, wait, the first is larger than the second. That proves it's eight. Because the largest numbers that's, that number two can be are six, four, and two, but it has to be even to be a half, so it has to be eight. Okay, so we it's eight and four. That's guaranteed. So the rest, I'm actually just going to type it in. Or I'm just going to try it. We're just going to try it. Because we know 8 and 4. And then we know the other numbers. That's not too uh, bad. So 8. We're going to just try 6. Because. The second is higher than the third or something it said. And then this one has to be 3, 2, or 1. Because it's smaller than the fourth. So we're just going to do it in order, basically, and then do four, because it has to be four. Wow. Um. Well then. I did it. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Uh, okay. All right. Papers away. Well, we did it, and I'm not that mad. Okay, so let's just get on with it. Let's stop wasting time. I don't know how much of that I'm going to cut out or anything. It didn't take, it took like 10 minutes. Oh, God. Okay, now we're playing a horror game. I forgot. I thought we were playing like an education game. Can we, okay. I see you over there. Hey, baby. How's it going? How are you today? How are you guys doing today? Hope you're all doing fantastic. We'll keep the glasses on because it's a new look just for this episode. How about that? Hmm? I found out a name for this. I am naming it the Half Chub. <laughs> so we got the Mini D, we got the D, and the Half Chub. The Half D. Half a D. We're going to give it to them. You know, they got me, a, they got, like, they're getting me there, but I'm not fully there. Hey, 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 stop doing the jiggy. I didn't say you could do the jigs. Ow! Did you just shoot me? Is that a gun? She just shot me! Don't you- Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh, she was gurgling. She was gurgling. She just shot me with a revolver. Holy crap. Kenny. You were right. Kenny was like, yo, they don't just got metal pipes. Well then, I didn't expect a gun. I didn't, I never expected this game to have shooting enemies. That's new. That's cool. I'm down. I'm down. All right. She just shot the shit out of me. <laughs> Fair and square. All right, cool. So, nurses are down. Meth. Wait, weren't there two of those doors? How the freak do I open the other one? I, I, I bet there's like a... Heather, what are you looking at? Look at that toe! Uh, there's a tattoo on its foot. Margaret, let's swear our love until death do us part. Hold on, let me freaking fix this. Alright, here we go. Let's swear our love until death do us part. 
That's what that that's the whole tattoo. Margaret. That might be a puzzle. Whoops. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand is sticking out of the sheet. Has something written on it. Oh, God. This guy's tattooed all over. What the freak does that... The start time is my key. And now there's a note. Oh, never mind. What the freak? Okay. I feel like this has to do with the other code on the third floor. There's a medical record here. Could it could this be for this dead guy? Background unknown. Name age unknown. Not admitted patient found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was cause of a neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room. Have received no proof or corroboration of event. Have not notified police. However, the future necessity leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. All right, we need to get the room M4. Oh, that's what I just read. Heather. Heather. Okay. Oh, there's paper scattered. Nothing important. Okay. None of it looks useful. Margaret Death do his part. And the start time is my key. And we need to get the M4. So, oh wait, that's here. On the second floor, M4. Okay, so we're getting there. Let's check out M's. Let's check our M's, all right? Check our M's. So another thing I was thinking about, since one, uh, Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3 are connected, it seems like Silent Hill 2 was like the filler episode. Like it was a filler game to work on this secretly. Like, they just took a break and said, let's just do something different. They made number two, totally off the story, came back to this with the full story. It's like a filler episode in an anime, or a filler season. Jesus freaking Christ! Shut the- f Shut up! Shut up! That's the worst noise ever! Shut up! Yes! Shit! God, that- that game uh, almost gave me a headache. I don't get headaches often. But that almost did it. I hate alarms. They're the bane of everyone's existence. Even though they actually save our lives. <laughs> I wouldn't wake up ever without my alarm. That's actually a lie. I always wake up like a few minutes before. And it pisses me off. Alright, so wait. What's the start time? 9.36? Six. No, no, 8.36. Sorry, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. 8.36. Paper, come to me! Ah, it's too far away. 8.36. Ah! F it, okay. It's just a paper episode. 8.36. We'll put it here. Okay, cool. 8.36. This is the guy's room. But yeah, how you guys think about that whole filler thing? Hmm? Hmm? I think it's funny. I think it's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. I wonder what she would have said if we didn't go to that room first, came here, and it would be like, it's just a bloody bed. A case. Okay, this is going to be connected to him. Eight thirty-six. God damn it! Why does it have to be th three? I mean four. Heck yeah! Let's go. 
Instant camera. There's nothing else. Okay, so 8.36 is done. I didn't even need to write that down. The key is my start time. So that puzzle is gone. The only thing left is the Margaret thing. A bunch of mattresses. Who the who was in here throwing a tamper tantrum? Jeez Louise. Okay, so that was it. Instant camera. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. Why would we need an instant camera? So we still have that little shelf area that we need to find a way in the back of. That's in the basement. That's checked off. Is that an X? At the day room? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, and we did that. That's the, that was the glue. Why the freak did we need an Insta camera? Everything's open on the M floor! Jesus! More revenge of the nurses. What if it's just a trap room? Hmm? I don't want to fall for more traps. What weapon do we have where I can just do like a little, yeah, get out, get out the freaking way, huh? We're going, we're going to try, I'm going to try and run past them real quick, real quick like, yeah, yeah, give me this, yeah, 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 what's up? You like that? Hmm? You like, ah, Jesus Christ. I totally missed. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. My joint is beaten. All right, cool. So guess what? Got a health kit? Use the health kit. <laughs> That's a trap room, right? Oh God, it better be a trap room. It better be. If there's something else in there, I am screwed. Cause I'm not going back in there. Unless I absolutely have to. Oh, I am so screwed. What the? F <sighs> God damn it. What are you doing here? What else? That was the women's room. That's where I got perfume? I do have perfume. Okay. Another thing I mentioned, uh, sorry. Another thing I noticed when I was editing my last video, um, there has been quite, quite a few mentions or sightings of wheelchairs. There is the wheelchair in the underpass, just in the garbage, and she mentioned it. She says, why is a wheelchair here? There was also the wheelchair in the office behind that pane of glass. And then there's the wheelchair here with all the blood surrounding it and it's like all messed up and it scared the living crap out of me. Um, so I've just noticed that. I don't know if it has any meaning. If it does, you can mention it later or now if it doesn't really spoil much. But um, I just noticed there's a lot of wheelchair action going on. What the freak's this code? I'm going to the basement and I'm going to use these items and if I can't figure it out I'm just ending this episode and I'm going to just have to look it up that's pretty much it because <laughs> I can't remember I honestly cannot remember I literally came into this Saying, I'm going to figure out that goddamn puzzle. And I did. And it did nothing for me. What was on the first floor? Where am I? What the freak? Oh my god, Danny. I need the first... Okay. That was the key. 
trap room, nothing, save point was, why did I not check those rooms? What floor is this? This is the first floor. Why did I not check those rooms? Hmm? Who distracted me? This is why I was also watching, uh, come on, who wants it? Hmm? I missed this room! Oh my god! Huh? What the fuck is that? What the f There must be have there must have been kids here too then. I played with dolls like this when I was a child. It really takes me back. I totally missed these rooms. I apologize. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather! I want to give you my prize doll I made to com commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Ah, uh, I can already see your smiling face. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, a picture of a flower in a vase. Nice, but whatever. Stanley. Fuck this guy. Already. Paul, you put this goddamn name. You said Stanley in the comments. That's all you said. I'm not, I feel weird now. It's just a flower pot. Nothing special. I don't know what kind of plant it is. It's fake. It's a fake plant. Just like everything else in this goddamn world. It's fake. Okay, was that it? Was that just a freak me out? Who the freak? Who the fuck is Stanley? Are you Stanley? Get the fuck on the ground. I don't, I am I ain't playing games. I ain't playing no goddamn games. Is he talking about me? Am I, am I the Heather? It could, it could just be another Heather. Psych not. It's definitely me. Because F this world. Alright, F you. Get on the freaking floor. Ah! Yourself. I'm not in the mood anymore. Alright? Checking all the doors. I missed that. But all it was was a creepy ass note. I have a stalker hunt trying to meet with me. Apparently we already met. No, because he said we met. He said, I finally met you. We already met. So that was. Uh, we already met. Me and Stanley know each other. I don't know Stanley. Doctor's lounge. How am I missing these doors? I have my glasses on now too. <laughs> I, cause you can blame me not wearing my glasses. Something better be in here, because I am still lost. We're at 30 minutes. I, I probably will edit some of that the puzzle stuff out. So, we should be right on time. I'll probably save it right after this room. Oh, please, don't... I'll take the ammo, but... Please. Please. Give me something. What's that? What's this? It's medical record of some... It's for this guy, Leonard. Could this be the same Leonard Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Um, S Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations. Emotional instability. Obsessive ideas. Suspect mild schizophrenia. Will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. 
Oh my god. This this is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Dude, this is I'm so glad I'm finding this in order. Oh my god. SO7 usually passive and cowardly. Egotistical. That's a little That's weird. That doesn't like make any sense. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. I bet Stanley's like going to be a boss fight. I bet. I bet there's nothing in here. I bet he's going to be a boss fight. Please. No. No. <laughs> oh, I bet he's going to be a boss fight. I got nothing. What the hell? I saw that button. I was like, um, I'm done. I'm out. This I'm I'm done. I'm going to the save point. Um, what the freak, guys? Hmm? Hmm? What the freak? What the hell's going on? Where the freak do I go? This is why, right here, why my playthrough goes for so long. I started looking at Kenny's playthrough. I'm not spoiling myself. I'm just watching it very slowly. But Kenny of the Beer Gentleman, he beats this game in 11 episodes. I'm on episode 16. Not that it matters to me. I'm taking it at my own pace, and I'm really enjoying this game a lot. This game is... Ever since it picked up, like, it's really well done. It's, it's super creepy, but I'm honestly really lost. Before I start the next episode, I might try certain things. Um, but I might have to just look up a little bit just to get me on the right, the right track again. So don't blame me on that. But, um, otherwise, thanks for watching as always. This is, oh, that was weird. Stanley! Ah! Stanley! See you guys later, dude. I'm going to go hide in a corner.